Now we're going to get into something really cool called reverse applique. So it's pretty much the same thing. I've traced a circle. Okie doke. And I'm going to pin it to my fabric. On the right side, take it to my machine. And again, we're going to stitch directly on the line. And I'm using a 2.0 stitch length. Take your pins out as you come to them. So reverse applique, you probably don't see it a lot unless you're looking for it. But it's used in many quilts if you have several layers of applique. This is a way to not have all kinds of bulk. Okay, we've stitched all the way around. Tip for threads. Okay, now, instead of cutting around the outside like we did on the other circles, we're going to cut out the middle. So you're gonna take and put a snip in the middle so you can get your scissors in there, and you're going to cut, and you're going to leave a seam allowance on the inside, a quarter inch seam allowance on the inside, a scant quarter inch seam. You're going to keep cutting around. Okay. So we've cut out the middle. Now, because it's inner curves, we're going to snip, 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 snip. We're going to snip all around. And just be careful. You don't want to snip into your stitching. That wouldn't be good. So, but this is going to make a turn. side you can see better. Sorry. Almost there. Okay. So you can see I've snipped all the way around. Okay. So we did the whisper light. We sewed around the circle. We cut the middle out leaving a scant quarter inch seam allowance. Snipped in the now we're going to take the whisper light and we're going to turn it to the back side. Flip it over. What's nice about these little irons is you can keep your fingers out of the way easy when you're doing small stuff like this. So you're gonna pull the whisper light. And like I said, you're gonna use a matching thread when you do it. So don't do as I do, do as I say. I wanted to use a contrast so you can see it. Almost there. And you can do this with other shapes, not just circles. 
but it does make beautiful circles. Ta-da. And then you can put it on your background. Isn't that cool? So you could do this. And then if you had another layer underneath, you could do another one and then that color would show through. So you can layer and see the layers underneath. That's, I don't know if you're familiar familiar with molas. It's um, a really cool form of reverse applique done in South America. And uh, those are very cool. And that's the type of technique that's used. So this is reverse applique. And then again, you would either do a hand applique stitch or a blanket stitch to adhere this to your background. So that's what a reverse applique is. So instead of cutting out the outside, you're cutting out the inside and turning the whisper light to the wrong side. And that creates your reverse applique. 